Well, alrighty. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're playing a different game today. Um, instead of sticky business, I've chosen Dirty Valley today because it is a bit of a calmer game. And I somehow um, hurt up by my collarbone. I might have slept on it wrong, I think, or something. Uh, either way, it uh, in my arm, one of my my, my um, right arm hurts a bit to move every now and again. So it's decent. We're it, doing a chill game today <laughs> to prevent that. Anyway, so uh, let's see. Welcome. There we go to Stardew Valley. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. So we'll be starting a um, new game instead, because we're not going to be playing any other games. There we go. Let's just go with Monica. There we go. <sighs> what should the farm name be, do we think? <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem low energy today. I, I, I'm not too bad today overall. How are you guys doing today? I love the on branding we got here. Get a there we go. Gay Moths Farm. There we go. Gay Moths Farm. Oh, Blade! Blade! That's a good one. But well, we always have what the server is called. Because the Discord server that isn't ready for folks yet um, is called Moths Mummies Bro. So we, we, we could call it Mothicals. Moths grow. How's moths grow? How do we feel about that? There we go. <laughs> Yay! Also, um, like Squidly said before, if you're just joining, um, my OBS is having some issues right now. Um, it won't let me change the tags, and it won't let me, um, pin messages. So in OBS, if you've never used OBS before, um, I have two little- I have the main image- the main video source that I see that you guys see on Twitch. Um, because uh, I have two screens. I have the main, um, Switch, and then beside it, there's a stream information panel and a chats panel. Um, I can type in chat and look at chat perfectly fine. Um, I just can't pin anything there for some reason. There's something going wrong over there. Uh, my stream information, I can update, I have like title, go live notification, add set the category, tags, and like your stream language, content classifications, reruns, and branded content. Um, I can't, I can edit my title, go live notification, I can edit everything else I'd imagine. I don't touch the content classifications of the rerun stuff because it's not relevant to me right now. But my tags are broken. My tags, um, as I, because I asked, um, Squidly and she told me. Um, my tags are still reading what they did last, um, my last, last stream, well, I guess last stream, so about two Fridays ago, I think? Uh, because I missed last Friday's stream. Um, it's still reading that. So as long as we just ignore the sticky business tag, tag we're fine. Because everything else is relevant to what's going on. Um, yes. So let's get on with this. Animal preference. Now, I don't really... I have a corgi. But none of these dogs look remotely close to Peppercorn at all. None of these look remotely close to her. And I hear there's, like, you can get, like, um, mods and the equivalent of, like, resource packs. I do not have those. I do not. I haven't put in the time to do that. I don't really know if I want to. So we're just vibing with this. I think. So do we go with a. Because this is just your dog. That's like a German Shepherd, and then that's, I, I assume, like a Beagle or something. Uh, should we go with the cat that kind of more closely resembles her, or should we go with some sort of dog? Doesn't look like the legend Peppercorn. Yes, I should have. I don't have a picture on stream, unfortunately. Um, but Peppercorn, I'll have it next turn. She's our little corgi. We love, we, we, um, she's a little corgi. She's a Pembroke Welsh corgi. Um, she's, her, uh, her coloring is not like a typical corgi. 
it's it's called a sable coloring. So, um, she has like a white underbelly, a uh, tan, like a nice tan body mostly. She has like little white socks, and her muzzle is black, and that's part of where the sable comes in, I think. Uh, it also has sables. I think usually have a saddle. She doesn't have a saddle color right now. It is a little bit darker and a little bit coarser. But her muzzle is black, so it looks like, um, it looks like she's dipped her nose in pepper. In pepper. Uh, I got a question. Is it possible to turn? Yes, I can turn down the game audio. Okay, there we go. Is that a little better? Is that a little better? Let me know, because I can keep adjusting it. I'm gonna I tried adjusting it. Perfect. Okay, lovely. So I'll get on with this. Should we go with, should we make peppercorn or should I just go with a random animal? I don't really, I like that cat, but I don't know. What do we call this cat? And what is my, what is my favorite thing? I have lots of favorite things, but I, I've played Stardew before, so I know this relates to the taste of um, Stardew or something. So I guess my favorite taste? I don't know, I think I'll go with, Candies? Nah, it doesn't even right. Candies. I like candies. What if she goes- well, no, it won't fit. I was gonna say, I can do saltwater taffy, because I really like saltwater taffy. Okay. Alright, uh, the animal preference... I think I'll go with... this kitty. And we'll figure out a name for that. Do I make my... We can make... I'll make uh, the farmer, like, a humanoid version of Moople. Um. To see? There we go. I'll make a humanoid version of Moople. So I never really thought about her hair. I like the, um, the, that hair because it's how I would actually do my hair. I have quite long hair. Um, IRL. Oh, I also love the braiding. Two different braids. I think let's- I'll go with the braid. Or like, it's tied back at least, maybe. Her eye color is like a dark... Kind of blacky gray color. Yeah, there we go. And I do apologize in advance for my vibes if they're not exactly the same as they are usually. I'm just finding I don't have the energy today. Should her hair be like a pink or a yellow? like a pink, a yellowy orange. I'm so struggling with this. Getting it to be the proper color for anything, really. The pink might look better, I know. Okay. Let's see here. It usually is a really close to yellow. Not yellow, really close to um, ready pink. But that's... And I'm trying to color match based on the avatar, and it's a lot more difficult than you think. Uh, okay, um, I think it needs to be a touch lighter. That looks a touch more accurate. How do we feel about that? Does that look alright? 
good. Well, well, that seems like quite... I'm comparing it on the two different screens and that looks awfully bright. Maybe a bit whiter, yeah. There we go. Because my laptop screen... That looks a lot nicer. Because my, um, I have two, like I said before, I have two screens. They're both HP screens. But I love that so much. I do too! Um, I forgot what the name of this one is. I'm sure I have a, uh, this box somewhere. But when I went looking for a, this is my second monitor, I wanted, because I do art as well, it's really, really important to me that the colors are, like, rich and correct looking because my uh, laptop screen is, and yes, I am streaming off of a laptop. So if there's any lag or anything, or anything runs wonky, we know why, because this laptop is like, I think like five or six years, no. I got her, yeah, it has to be like five or six, maybe years ago? Because high school's four years. Yep, so f <laughs> four or five years ago. Um, maybe closer to, Five or six, maybe closer to seven now? It doesn't even feel like it's been that long. But it's possible that it has been, no. Anyway, it's, she's an older laptop, okay? Um, still running though, so woohoo! Uh, her screen is a little bit more washed out. So when I'm color matching, I have to look on the other one, <laughs> which has my OBS and everything on it. Okay. Uh, now, the true struggle um, in anything, uh, if I could stream Sims, I would. Because y'all would just sit there for like an hour and a half and it would just be me constantly customizing Sims. Because it takes me forever to pick an outfit. Because I have to pick everything. But I play a lot of modded uh, Sims. I wonder... Could I find something that maybe looks a like has a pink and yellow? To it, I usually like overalls. I usually buy. Ooh, oh, it's yellow and blue though. I usually, well, we could do yellow and blue. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, I, I, I really quite like Stargate. Um, it, it is worth mentioning though. I've never actually completed the community center. I've never completed the community center. Which, if, um, if you've known me for any length of time, you know it's not exactly uncommon for me, considering the fact that I've only ever beaten one- I've played every Pokemon game, um, starting from Pokemon Black and White, I've also played, like, Pearl, and I think maybe the dark- maybe the farthest back I've played is when they first came to the DS? Because I have played some of the, um, GBA games, but I just- I didn't, um, didn't play them as long. But, um, uh, the only game- Heart Gold Soul Silver, there you go, that's as far back as I've played. Gen 2, holy! Um, so I've played every game from then on. I've only ever completed- I think- I keep saying it's one, but now that I think about it, it might be two. It's not actually Gen 2, but it's a Gen 2 remake. Oh, there you go! Oh, yeah, I constantly- I forget that all the time. Um, thank you, Squid. So anyway, um- Make the pants a cute- oh, That's a good idea! Do we think the shirt blends in with her hair too much? Should we try to find a yellow top? This is just the top that I could do a skirt too- I love skirts! I, I love skirts. The only issue I have with skirts is, um, on a farm they don't make much sense practicality wise. But you think the top's fine? We'll stick with that top then. And we'll make the pants a nice yellowy color. Okay, that is not yellow. Slide it a bit more this way. Should be. Oh! How's that? How do we think about that? In terms of clothing to start out in. Wonder, I'll see if there's any pink shirts after this. That's so cute. Yes, I love it. I love it too. I'll keep seeing if there's any pink shirts because I do like this shirt, but I want to I wanna know if there's other options. But I've only ever beaten two Pokemon games and I've I've played Sword and well I played Shield and Scarlet 
and I've only ever beaten one in its entirety. Uh, I've only ever beaten two in their entirety, and it's Pokemon uh, White and then Pokemon. I think they called it. I think they switched it then to so Black. Whichever ones have Zekrom in them, I've completed those two to their entirety, and they're my favorite generation, and that's it. Everything else, I've like beaten a few gym leaders and then just abandoned. <laughs> I don't complete anything. Is the moral of the story. So that shirt is number 37. So I'll be looking. That's a pink shirt. That's kind of a little more pinky white. 37, thank you. We have that shirt too, but it's a little bit more... Well, it gets the job done, but is it what we're looking for? Do we think shirt 37 is better? Th is it this pink one that you mean, Squidly? This is why we can't- this is why I can't do anything. Because we're still stuck on the farming screen. So, the other shirt, pink shirt. Do you mean this one? Or do you mean, was there one before? Like this one? This one. Shirt 50? No, there was another. Okay. Well, let's start going back then. Do you think it was backwards or forwards? That one. Which would Oh no, it went too fast! So it's not shirt 50. Unless it is shirt 50. The lighter pink. Is this shirt 50? Yes! We made it to 50. So do we like 50 more? I kind of like 50 a little more. 50, 50, 50. Yes. All right, let's go with 50 then. So is the skirt too bold? Because we can make the skirt a touch bit more. Compare 50 to 37 can do. So this is shirt 50. And this is shirt 37. Okay, so I kind of already know which one I like a little bit more. But what do we think? 50? Yeah. I think 50 as well. There we go. That's an awfully nice farmer if I do have to, if I do say so myself. Is there any accessories? So I wear I think the shirt's fine. Me too. The skirt, yeah. I did change it a little bit. Actually, I might have put it back to where it was by accident because I think that was 53. Anyway, um, I wear glasses IRL. I need to wear glasses for distance. So it, when I'm sitting in a lecture hall or driving, I don't drive. But if I'm like for distance, I wear the glasses in game because I don't. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I was gonna say I might not wear glasses because I don't. The glasses I find aren't overly flattering. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> okay, we're going without. There is a duck beak, but a rope forest. Yes. I do like the forest. It fits the grove vibe. We love that. Grove, forest, heck yeah. It's a vibe, it is a vibe. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, I, I think we're ready to get it. I'm not like, you're like totally. Hi, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Um, so all you've missed is just um, uh, making the farmer, that's it. And me just talking, so um, I hurt, we're playing Stardew Valley today because I hurt or like slept on my arm weird. And so up by my collarbone, I'm having a bit of like discomfort. Um, oh, this for God, so bad. Sierra, ugh, I only changed our schedule. Yeah, still six hours straight of lecture, lecture, and then a lab, which is more of like your hands on, but you still might be doing like lab for us could be doing so it most it most often is doing stuff but um it can be lecture stuff depending on where we are six hours straight without a break it does not feel legal in the slightest at all um yeah six hours straight and i heard that um because one of my professors said last semester, <laughs> not even six hours gay, I know. I would take the gay hours, but not the straight hours. <laughs> um, they, we had, um, like, I think, like, three or four classes, um, like, hours straight last semester, and, um, I think it was, like, three hours break, one hour, one hour or something. No, it wasn't that, but 
we had a, um, we, what is it? We had a ridiculous amount of classes and one of my professors said I did not think that the uh, college was allowed to do that. I didn't think, I thought there was like um, a, a policy against that. And I was like, really? And the professor's like, yeah, I think so at least. So we um, are gonna have a C because six hours, and I'm not even in like, you might be thinking, oh, well, mythical, that sounds, that makes sense because it's college. Um, you must be in like a competitive pro, no. My, my program's not competitive, there's 12 of us. It's not competitive. In no sense whatsoever is, it's not competitive. Um, there's like, there's no real reason. They did recently um, cancel my program. So no one else is going to be coming into my program. We're the last graduating class of it. So it kind of feels like, at least for a lot of us in our program, it kind of feels like they just shoved us wherever is convenient and called it a day. Like we have a class in cybersecurity and get this, it's in the basement. Half of the professors I spoke to last year, because I had to do my first aid and they put it in the basement, um, they had no idea where the, where that room even was, where the basement was. Like there's some like they had no idea because it's not. It, I mean I think accessible. Uh, something about accessibility is down there. I think, which is kind of ironic. But uh, yeah, no, that's that's annoying. So they're gonna have to go to the college. Well. Get this one day it sounds nice in theory until you how am i supposed to be be how am i supposed to reasonably get there without either being late or having to leave um leave online early yeah um so get this um uh, what is it um so they moved around because our say the day that we have six hours straight it wasn't like that before um they moved around something from monday either way i missed something from class yeah and I think I have to check my schedule again. I don't know if it's one hour or if it's three hours. If it's one hour on Monday, I don't think it is because I think it's, if it's class I'm thinking it is, it's three hours. But if it was one hour, it would be, um, it would be, uh, I would spend more time travel time than that because I take public transport and it takes like, almost um like um, it, with everyone like if people are getting like a straight route it takes like 40 minutes i think like or something if people are getting off and on it can be anywhere from um like 50 minutes upwards just to get to my college yeah law class oh my gosh i was never good for 8 a.m classes we had statuettes which if you don't know what statuettes are statuettes are like um if you don't know what a statuette is it's laws and um like yeah it's laws and stuff so it's like trespassed property act and by the way if anyone else is joining that's not from canada i live in ontario so these laws are relevant to ontario um it's like the trespassed property act um your uh substances act um, and all sorts of that stuff, because it's relevant to our program. And, um, yeah. So that was at 8 a.m. in the morning, and my teacher was very, our professor was very much understanding, because we had her every, um, every day, except one day, I think, we had her. Every single day. <laughs> so, nah, no, paralegals do not like her. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're gonna complain because I know like six hours straight and some of our, like one of our classes doesn't end till seven, which I know sounds like, why are you complaining? That That's what you signed up for. You go to college, you can have classes at college until nine at night. Um, why are you complaining about seven? Which, yeah, understandable, but there's some students that have to, that are gonna have to skip that class because they have other responsibilities like children to put to bed. So, like, some of us have other responsibilities to attend to, unfortunately. It's just difficult. Finding the work-life balance is going to be pretty difficult. Um, anyway. So, uh, 
what else? Um, I went to the- we have a mall in my town. I went to the mall the other day with Squidly, and I got her a, um, Aura Quartz, I think it's called. Those are, um, it looks like it was made like Bismuth. If you've ever seen Bismuth made, it's really cool because it's, it's adorable. I love it. It's a really, really pretty crystal. Um, and it's unironic. It's like, it, with the Aura Quartz, uh, I think the person who threw it, you don't really choose, I don't think they really chose the shape of it. It just came out roughly looking like a heart. I'm like, Squid would love this. So I bought it for her. And she bought me a Rose Quartz heart. So I have a Rose Quartz heart sitting on my desk now. Um, I also have little, I'll take pictures and add them next stream or post them on my Twitter. Uh, I have a Twitter now. Um, I think it's at MothfulMoo. I don't remember if there's spaces or not. Or underscores. But I have little, um, three little crocheted pumpkins and a little crocheted, uh, uh, what's it called? Mushroom Man, which is really fun. Um, and I'll tell you more about, like, because I pre-ordered. I do want to get into the game, because at this point we're just sitting, I'm just sitting here talking. Um, but I did, oh, I also bought some nice, I bought a nice dress. But anyway, um, I will show you what I pre-ordered. Because I went to, I refused to call it GameStop. Because if you don't know, and, uh, aka if, uh, you're American, what's up? Is the music too loud? Is my mic too loud? What's up? What's the question? <laughs> There's a good chance my mic is too loud. Are you gonna play modded Stardew anytime? Oh! Okay, so I've considered it. I've considered playing modded Stardew. I like the idea of, like, getting extra, um, like, decoration stuff. Yes, for the aesthetics. I love it. Okay, so I'm a very aesthetics-based person. I like my things to look cute and cozy. As one of my aesthetics, I'm one of those people who have a very broad range of aesthetics I like. Like, I like everything from Lolita to, like, punk. And, like, I like I own a pair of platform shoes. Um, and so on and so forth. I like it. Rose picket fences! Yes! I, I don't think... I think I've maybe seen that mod. Anyway, um, I'll be right... Yeah, so I, m I might play it. I'm more used to installing resource packs and say, Minecraft. Because I have a... When I play Minecraft, you guys will see. But I have like a f autumn leaves. I have lots of I have autumn leaves, so it makes all my leaves different colors. So like there's orange ones and light orange ones and so on and so forth. It just makes it look a lot better. Um, I have a thing that makes my health bar and hunger bar tiny little mushrooms. Um, easier than Minecraft to do. Ooh! Yeah, no, I will wait. I, I will scroll back up and see what you guys are talking about here. I hate that she made us get the physical copy of the book too, because we can only use it, use that for open book exams, which is another thing if we're using computers for all classes. Why are we not just getting digital books in this day and age? Yeah. Um. So get this. I have. I had one textbook to buy this semester, and my textbook is behind me. I haven't. Uh, taking it out of the package yet because I don't see any reading. This is called Cybersecurity in Canada Operation Investigations and Protections. And it's, it, yeah, it, there's nothing, there's no summary on the back. Oh, there we go. Crime and Intelligence Analysis in Canada, Cybercrime, inter Interviewing and Investigation, Fundamentals of Security, Foundations of Criminal and Civil Law in, CLA in Canada, Provincial off Offenses, and the Law Enforcement Handbook. This was like a hundred and six dollars, I think, for cybersecurity, and it's a paper copy. I personally prefer physical paper copies because, um, like, I just, I don't learn well with, you've seen the tag, I have ADHD, um, I struggle with certain things, full disclosure, I struggle with certain things, I have, um, I also have dyscalculia, which, if you're thinking, hmm, that sounds like dyslexia. It's very similar. It's with numbers. So numbers look weird to me. I'm very, very bad at math, period. I just, I can't do math. Um, and I don't think it's related to dyscalculia, but math, seeing mathematics and like sometimes like seeing a mathematical equation and more specifically being asked to do a difficult mathematics equation. And we're talking about multiplication here. Um, without a calculator, if, so, if someone sits me down and tells me to multiply, some, some multiplication I can do, especially if I'm allowed to draw it out because I need a visual guide. 
but if it's like, say if someone's like, I need you to multiply like, um, five times eight divided by six, for example, um, it, that triggers my flight or fight response, and my fi fight or flight response is flight. Unless, of course, you actually scare me, in which I, I freeze. I, I just drop to the ground. Um, but yeah, so I struggle with a variety of things. I found that uh, reading, actually holding textbooks and reading them is a lot better for me than the alternative. Anyway, I've been talking for far too long. I'll still keep reading chat and talking, but we need, we should start this. So I'm not gonna skip the intro, even though I've seen it a million times. We're gonna watch Grandpa and not get sad about it. So, my favorite thing is candies. I don't know, do we wanna keep the, not the skip intro? I can, not skip the intro? I can, but when we think about it, it's only a little, I don't even remember the intro. We're going with that. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the intro then. I'm wondering if I should change it from candies. I wonder if I should change it to ne nectar. Is that how you spell nectar? I don't know what moth mothical. Ah, uh, a a. So where's the a? Is the a in? Is it like is is nectar nectar? Is that how it is? Pre nectar. Thank you. Nectar. Thank you. Um. So. Um. Uh, uh, me as a person, I'm still thinking about this for my Twitch. Um, so me as a person, I go by Moth, um, on, in online spaces, I go by Moth, even my friends IRL usually call me Moth, um, but Mothical, when I usually, when I refer to Mothical, um, I'm usually thinking of my little PNG tuber, my little Moth crew. <laughs> I do tend to call you Moth, exactly! See, uh, it's like a nickname that has evolved into a second name, or a third name, because I have... My full name is Long, and then I have a short form of that that I want. I usually go by because it's a lot shorter and less complicated to say. And then we have Moth. Anyway, so when I think of Mothical, I think of my little PNG tuber, and she's a little, she's a rosy maple moth critter. I didn't know what else to call her, so she's a critter. So she eats nectar. Isn't that great? There we go. All right. Are we ready to go, do we think? Finally, after all this time, are we ready to go? Where did my... I don't know, I used to have a water bottle and I put it down, it's fine. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna, let's get on with this. Are we ready? The pants color, 99. 100. No, that's, that's just 99, it doesn't go up to 100. Perfect, all right. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get us started. In terms of... Oh, I forgot about there's advanced. Guarantee first year complete. That's not happening. I'm really good at the mines. Hurry streamer, I don't have all day. <laughs> um, yeah, so I do not, I'm good at the mines. Okay. Moth, moth, wait, what's up, what's up? What's up, I didn't, I didn't press start yet. <laughs> what's up, did I forget something? The guarantee first year, yep. I mean, I don't usually pay much attention to um, I don't usually pay much attention to the community center because I can never, I've never completed it, but it promises that you get an item at the witch at some point. Okay. So, ensures that the traveling merchant sells a red cabbage seed sometime during the first year. Okay. So... Do we want that on? When does she, when does the traveling merchant even show up? Yeah, traveling merchant. Do we want that, would we, Friday and Sunday, okay. I can try to remember that. She is, not a witch. <laughs> Unfor I mean, yeah, unfortunately, she's not a witch. Um, would we like to turn on guarantee first year completable, completable? I mean, it's not gonna com be complete. See, here's the thing though, because I'm probably not gonna complete it on the first year. I can try to complete it on the first year, but I don't know what the heck it means half the time. So like, I would turn it on anyway. All right, you know what? We'll we'll turn it on. Where should I place it? Yes, we should. I'm planning to have, um, I'm planning to play Don't Starve with, with viewers. And of course, I mean like playing with friends as well, just not on stream, because I play games off stream occasionally. 
uh, don't starve with viewers. I'm gonna play don't starve with you guys, I think. Unless it requires friends on Steam. I don't think it does, though. I think I can just open a server. Anyway, I will gladly play it with you guys. Stardew. I would love to play it. I'd love to play Stardew with you guys as well. Yeah. I, so the original plan was to play Don't Starve together today. Sorry, the followers, not villagers. <laughs> Sorry, that was, um, um, what's it called? OBS informed me that that was, a, my laugh was a touch loud. Um, but Stardew Valley with villagers. <laughs> Y'all are just missing villagers. Huh, I'm a Minecraft villager. Huh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Minecraft villagers are so silly. So, the plan was to play one emerald, take it or leave it. I have, um, I don't know, I don't even, I don't even have any real Minecraft props or anything to trade IRL. <laughs> um, I will take the emerald, take it or leave it. I will trade you, um, what is that, like 16 wheat or something? I don't know, that might be a little low. Um, the original plan was to play Don't Starve Together today. But I hurt my bone. I hurt my bones. My bones are hurting. My bone hurting juice. So I decided to go with a bit more of a casual game. I can see I've been streaming for 41 minutes and still haven't started. And I'm just gonna be just that much more annoying and pop up my break screen for a second so I can go get more water. Because I ran out of water. So I'll pop up my break and see y'all in a hot second. It doesn't take that long to get water, thankfully. realized uh because i have a calendar above my desk welcome to the first day of oh i should pop this down welcome to the first day of Sep september y'all um congrats we made it past august all right i said i was starting so we're getting started And for my very special granddaughter, oh boy. Oh, wait, are you supposed to play? I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh, is the grandma's dead too? I want you to have the sealed envelope. Oh, his hands, oh God. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Oh. Now, listen close. There'll come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. This is always so sad. This is exactly why I don't, why I don't, um, watch the intro. And your bright spirit will fade before growing emptiness. <laughs> it's funny mods to fix so sad. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Oh my goodness. Okay, Grandpa. Now let Grandpa rest. Okay, Grandpa. See, my XX years later. Work. Oh, jeez. Is this <laughs> Grandpa's worst? Man? Is this Amazon? Is this Amazu? <laughs> I feel like that's what it's supposed to be a reference to. Terminated. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, cowboy. Uh, that's, a, that's a cowboy dude. Amazoo is, in fact, a reference to uh, a Gretzko. So, life's better with Jojo. Oh. My soul's been crushed. <laughs> There's the letter. From Grandpa. Dear Moth Cult, If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what matters most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Moth's Grove Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This, this was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, <laughs> say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Yeah, but why aren't you, why aren't you lazy? Because your eyes are closed. Not productive. Sad. <laughs> Should it concern me that this doesn't make me sad? N no, not necessarily. I'm just a very, um, I'm easy to get to cry. And this one hits this, the, like, the intro hits a little harder, like, closer to home for me. Uh, started oh, it's frozen. Um, oh, there we go. It hits a little bit closer to home to me because, um, on Father's Day of this year, um, we thought that my, like, my, my dad woke me up because I was waking up late and he told me to get dressed because we had to, um, go up to my grandma and papa's because my papa was not here and we thought that he was going to pass away. So, Stardew Valley is 0 0.5 miles. So it just, it, a bird! A bird! <laughs> I never realized the bird sat on it. Yeah. Yeah, it is sad, so that's why we, um, just hits a little close to home, is all. I forgot how big my text box is. What? Oh my goodness. Because I'm playing on a puny screen? <laughs> death, despite being a huge fear of mine, has never affected me as broadly as others. Yeah, I mean, death affects people in different ways. It's on my laptop. It is on my laptop, so I'll shrink this text box. But anyway, Robin. This is Robin. That's Robin. <laughs> there we go. So Robin says, hello, you must be Mothical. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, t now tidying things up for your arrival. Did you get off the bad bus? Well, this one isn't. doesn't look like it's broken down yet. Oh, did you, like, walk out from behind? The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. There we go. I'll follow you. Yep, we'll follow you. There we go. I will be doing some viewing out. You can just see how small my computer screen is. <laughs> this is Moth's Grove Farm. Yeah, that's an accurate response, if I do say so myself. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Oh my god, those marks on the bus windows are, are the seats not broken windows? You thought that they were broken windows? Oh my goodness, I love that, that pure comedy. I just realized that. So, sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have, have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, if you say so. I've had this game for years. <laughs> and here we are, your new home. Oh, thank you, Robin. Oh, there's Lewis. He's not dead yet. Grandpa says hi, by the way. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelicantown. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Good soil? No, I'm getting the soil tested. <laughs> Yes. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah, I actually quite like that cottage. I think it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> How long has it been overgrown? I'm sending the soil over to get tested before I grow anything. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Mothical. 
She's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so you'll buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> Pure shock out of Robin. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I'm gonna grow a turnip and it's gonna come out, like, mutated. Yeah, so have you ever seen, uh, Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion? Yeah, this is where it started. <laughs> it all started in Stardew Valley with mutated <laughs> turnips. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. <laughs> well, I'm out. Well, good luck. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks, Lewis. There we go. So we're going. Wait. Yes, I can't wait to actually get chickens. I'm a huge animal person when it comes to Stardew. Saving. There we go. Yes. So before I get back into the game, I pro your progress has been saved. I promise to share with y'all after as I fix around my settings. Uh, I promised to show y'all. Oh, there we go. This is how big it usually is. Are you kidding me? It's tiny. Zoom. Okay. Perhaps I'll look. Well, laptop is always smaller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? That should be good. Anyway, I promised to show you guys before I continue. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> I'll play my biggest screen. It looks better. Yeah. I, I don't play, besides Sims, I don't play much on my bigger screen, it's usually used for art. Anyway, promise to show you guys, I, so, I'm a figure collector. I collect figures. I have, like, a little Todoroki uh, pop-up parade figure that I need to get my paintbrush out and clean again. Uh, I have a little Todoroki at my desk. I have multiple figures uh, sitting in my living room. Uh, a lot of them are from Squidly because she bought them for me. Uh, I have like some of the racing Mikus. I have a pop up parade Miku. I have a um, one version of a Hawks figure. I don't remember who made it and or who, uh, what it is. It might be the Amazing Heroes, I'm thinking. Like the Amazing Heroes line. I have a Hawks figure. I have a Pansy uh, Miku. I think she's. I don't remember what scale she is. I don't know if I actually have them, but she's from like when the PS game came out, I think. Uh, so I have lots of figures there. I have a wedding- I have her wedding dress, Miku. If you go- I don't have a picture of her, but if you go on Google and search up wedding dress Miku, uh, Miku figure, like wedding dress Hatsune Miku figure, you'll see her and she's beautiful and she's my pride and joy. My parents got her for my graduation. Um, <clears throat> just a sec. Okay, we also have, um, I also have the, uh, ha uh, Hatsune Miku X My Little Pony collaboration figure, because I was really into My Little Pony as a kid. Lubricated throat now, yes. Yes, I have to lubricate my throat. Is it moist? Actually, it still feels rather dry, but that's okay. Um, but, um, I have the crossover figure, which is really two figures. I have a Hawks from My Hero. I love Hawks uh, from My Hero. If anyone's I, I have an obsession with them. And dry hydrate again this minute. I will do that. I'll turn off my mic this time though, because I don't need you guys hearing me swallow. Not to be taken out of context. Do not take that out of context. <laughs> Yes, yes, we know you can take the joke. <laughs> you can. Well, I hear that Twitch is getting rid of the community moments thing, but I think, I don't know how Twitch works, but I think you guys can, I don't know if it's relevant, but you guys can clip things from videos. Um, so if you, what even is that? I don't, I, I couldn't tell you, honestly. I have no flipping clue. Um, anyway, I ordered another figure and I will show you. So I went to, yeah, yeah, well you, I think you guys can clip figure, uh, clip clips. If you can't, then I have a setting turned off or something. Um, well, I think you can always, I think they're keeping clipping. It's like community moments 
I think they're getting rid of, which is like funny moments that people found in the videos and appears underneath, I think. I'm not sure, to be 100% honest. I know you've been able to clip for a while, though. Anyway, um, so, um, they're getting rid of, um, community moments. They said it was a beta program? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you the difference, to be honest. I hear that Community Moments was, like, only half launched and was barely used to, uh, yeah. See, that that's the issue with it, because it, I, I didn't really, they didn't, I feel like they didn't really show it off enough and give it enough time to grow into its own thing, and they're just canceling it because, oh no, no one knew how to use it. Well, no one used it. Well, no one knew how to use it or what it's supposed to be used for, so. Anyway, um, I uh got other figures from anime north i went to anime north this year and i got this figure so this is a um ah! oh sorry squidly scared me just looked around the corner and did nothing oh okay i, I was just checking i was just checking to see if you could see the the figure on the second screen Yep. I, I poked my head out because I didn't know how you imported it. I was like, oh no, if we can't see it, it's going to make Mod look stupid. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you, Squid. Thank you, Squidly. You're getting water I can see. Yeah, so um, me and Squidly live together. Hydrate or dehydrate. Hydrate or dehydrate, we live together. Anyway, so she's gonna go sit down now and continue watching the stream. <laughs> um. Anyway, so this is the figure. I have her. She's um. Fr she's by Furu, which is a, a figure company. There you go. Um, she's, yeah, by Furu, part of the Sweets Sweets collection. Um, she's, legitimately, when I saw her, she's one of my favorite figures because I really like macarons or macarons, depending on how you say it. Um, I pronounce everything incorrectly ever. So, um, not intentionally, mind you. But, so, I have a thing for French macarons or macarons. Um, I have a thing for them. They're in the back there. I love them. They're one of my favorite sweets. Um, so she's themed after them. So of course I had to buy her when I was at Anime North. And her sculpting is so le legitimately it's so pretty. Her face is so soft looking. Everything about her is soft. It's just I, I love it. So the figure I pre-ordered is this one. And uh still to this day will not be my least covered figure because I have a black rock shooter figure. And for some reason they put her in very, very short pit very, very short shorts and just like a bra. And that's it. And I'm like, y yikes. I feel awkward having her displayed in my living room. But I love black rock shooter, so here we are. Um anyway, so this is the uh, Hatsune Miku Sweet Sweets Noel version, I believe they called it. Still by Furu. The thing I love most about this figure, and I'll see if I can zoom her in. When I first saw her, I knew I wanted her. Oh, no, I grabbed something else I shouldn't have. Boop. There we go. Okay. And stretch. And there we go. So now she's taking up my entire screen. It's her face. I am absolutely in love with in love with her facial details because like it, they look sketched and i just i oh i love it so much i love her and so um because good smile uh their shipping to canada is ridiculous it's 20 dollars for standard shipping when it used to be 10 dollars, and i can never figure out why um i just haven't been able to order off them because the shipping is ridiculous so when i saw that that was I'm just moving my avatar slightly so that my wing doesn't clip off when I bounce around. There we go. Um, when I saw that she was available at my local EB Games, I refused to call it GameStop because Americans have GameStop. And then EB Games died in Canada, but it came back as GameStop. Like it, there was no, like it rebranded because EB Games just died in Canada. It wasn't making enough. So now it's under GameStop, which means it's getting more, it like has more of a lifeline through them. Uh, the only other EB Games is still in Australia when it uses EB games, but, so anyway, I ordered it yesterday, there's a few other figures I want to order, I have a slight figure addiction, but we keep that under wraps, because, uh, it's not as bad as it could be, anyway, let's plant these turnips, and I need to remember how to use it, there we go, what is it, no, shift, E, 
Wait, how do you pick things up again? Wait, you click on them, don't you? No, there we go. You right click. Okay, there we go. You see 15 parsnips needs. Head over to your journal or something. Ugh, the greet people. <laughs> anyway, so we can start cleaning now. How do you... Oh, yeah, okay. I see. I'm sorry, I haven't played Stardew Valley in so long. Is this... As zoomed out as she goes? Well, we'll play on that, because that looks slightly better, as far as I know. There we go. So, I'm still unsure if I'm going to be streaming... Ne as of right now, because college hasn't even gotten started yet, it gets started. It looks good. Thank you. Thank you! Um, college for me gets started next week. So, um, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna stream next week or the other week. It depends on my workload, because I need to stay on top of it. And, frankly, when it comes to- Heart! I love it. Frankly, when it comes to, um... the word when it comes to streaming it is a secondary thing to my schooling because school is important and i'm paying for that so if you got to cancel a stream you gotta exactly that's why my schedule on twitch says every friday i'm thinking it's more every other friday let's go with an aesthetic farm here four five wonderful And I guess I should put it over here. Should I go buy five more parsnips from Pierre? Then it's even. I don't know. Maybe. Um. Starter really kicks up, I find. Oh, and it froze a bit. And now there's quite a bit. Oh no! Of course. Okay. So how much of a delay is there? I have to get my tablet out. I don't have my tablet next to me. <sighs> Do not- Okay, wow. There is quite a big delay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I'll go ahead and, um... Asked how much I just asked. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and end the day, like just quit to title. It just caught up, I think. Okay, so what about now? I should go get my tablet. Actually, I could probably do it from my phone. <sighs> if you hear two of me here in a second, no you don't. <laughs> I think it's delayed a little, a little bit. I see. Oh, nice to know the my notifications are working. Just not the ping, apparently. The category didn't update e correctly either. The category didn't update correctly either. Okay, there's a big delay. Okay. Okay. So, what I think I'm gonna do is, um, well, wait. What I think I'm gonna do. No, that's a still a very big delay. Okay. So, what I think I'll do is, um, yeah, there's quite a big delay, so I'll wait to hear from you guys, but I was thinking in the case of a, uh, delay, I will, um, like at this point, it's delayed quite a bit more than I would like it to be. 
So I'll go ahead and um and now okay my um okay my I was trying to update my streaming thing but it's still broken on EBS OBS okay so what I'll go ahead and do is pop up the break screen and then close Stardew and then. So would you guys rather um just end stream for today or should I do something else do you think like sticky business or something It's hard to say because I opened it on my phone. Yeah, okay, so I opened it on my phone and I can see that there's quite a bit of, of a delay. <coughs> that wise? I can end stream and redo it, but the problem is, um, the problem that way is I think I'm still gonna have that issue with Stardew so I might have to see if there's a way to um play around with um yeah OBS might be broken the stream delay was fine before so there's no actual delay True. I can see how much of a delay there is, like, between the stream now and my phone. I think I need to do some fiddling around with OBS. Yeah. Okay, because I can see, um, at some moments on Stardew for some reason, some moments are making my CPU, because I don't... It, OBS is only allowed 10% right now, and I think I need to play around with that, but in order to do that, I need to add stream. Um, but I can see that OBS is, at some moments, is peaking at 9.4% out of 10, and once it reaches 10 or goes over 10, that's when you start to experience delays. Yeah, so the thing that bugs me about the stream delay is the chat. Because if you guys tell me not to do something or tell me to do something. <coughs> Hi, Pepper. Um, if you tell me to do something or not do something, it won't work correctly. I mean, it's fully and completely up to you guys if you feel like if you want me to finish the day and then keep going or yeah pepper's baby bark she she's very much um if she hears a sound or anything okay Okay, I see. So you think it's fine. I'll, I think I'll do one day and I just chat won't be accurate at all. Unfortunately. So I'll pop this back down and uh, do a thing. So do we want to buy 15 seeds from Pierre? And I'm realizing that my stream is still, my stream information is still broken for some reason. Why not do two days? Okay, I'll do two days. That sounds like a good idea. So should we buy another few seeds from Pierre? Okay. 
Okay. Is that a little bit better? I played around with some Stardew. Could try to get mixed seats. I, do, I have a mixed seat, but I can try to get more mixed seats. Played around with some Stardew. I think I turned down the lighting quality or something. I think. Yeah, that's lighting quality. Qual quality. Um. Yeah, so I just turned down the. I just turned down the thing. I'll try to get some. Seeds. Mixed seeds come from grass, or do they come from the stuff that gives you fiber? Grass, yep. Okay, let's go cut some grass then. I think the stuff that gives you fiber is bushes, I think, so. grass and not fiber fiber story okay that's okay that's okay don't worry about it we'll just go and cut some more fiber because grass grows back really quickly so squid will help me troubleshoot and we'll allocate a little bit more room to obs because i don't see why it shouldn't be able to run uh, at like 15 without being a problem if we can do that i'd imagine Anyway, I'm getting lots of fiber out of this. Which is fabulous because fiber is good. <sighs> Still just three. Got all five mixed seeds. Okay. So I'll go ahead and plant five of them over here. Pop these down. Oh, five! Fabulous. Okay, and then we can go ahead and water these. Like, so now there's a stream delay when there's a bit of an overload. <clears throat> so, I have to be very careful in what games I play because I don't like having a long stream delay, personally, because I can't interact with chat as much then. Anyway, um, I'll figure out a way to go about it. I still have to add a few things as far as that goes. Like, I want to add, I get a little, um, To go around the game. Um, I also want to get a little chat thing, so maybe chat is in the corner there, maybe? Perhaps? You might see me over the next few days trying to, like, like oh, Mothball goes live, and then, like, it might just say testing, because I'm gonna need to test a few things to see what's wrong with my OBS and why it's wrong. There's usually someone in here. Yes. Okay, hello, Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. It is lovely. Hi, Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Mothical, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop's the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. 
all agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. It could, I agree, Mr. Pierre. Oh, wait, Caroline, get back here. There we go. Hello, you must be Mothical, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs a general store here. And if you met my daughter, Abigail, she's the one, she's the pale one with purple hair. So let's see here. Oh, there's Alex. Oh, yes, Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay, Granny. Hi, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Yes, you will see me around. Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Okay, hi Penny. Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with, with a small town like this, a new face really alters the community dynamic. It's so exciting. It is. I like Stardew and I like to play it in my off time. I'm just a little, I find my, that I'm just a little tired and large today. Alex is a himbo. Yes. Strong agree. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live by the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I need to play this game over and it makes me overwhelmed. Yeah. No, that's that's fair. I I get that hundred percent. It's a pleasure to meet you. See now I'm watching my CPU now and it it, it looks fine for the most part. I don't know where the issue was, though. I don't know where the inventory full. Ah, poo. I'll eat this dandelion, because why not? And I'll eat this daffodil! I'll be able to find them all season, so I'm not too stressed about it. I want to collect the shells, though. I like shells. I don't know why this farm the stream of those fell on top but hey i found a lost book found a lost book the library's collection has expanded good for the library i suppose yeah so i'll do this day and then i'll do tuesday and then i don't know if i'll do any more days after that because it is already well an hour and 17 minutes not my longest but still Locked. Oh, I missed it. By ten minutes, damn. Ooh. Well, people start to go to the saloon, so I can say hi to some people. Hello, Gus. Your back is turned to me. Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Nothing like a sip of the old good stuff to warm these old bones. Oh, Pam. Hi, Gus. Oh, hello there, I'm Gus. She the chef and owner of the Starboard Ops. Good evening, can I get you anything? This is Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here, pal. It's a good town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's why I work. Um. I'm already in the saloon, but thanks, Emily. Yes! Where's the one that I like? Oh wait, I only have those ones unlocked right now. Okay. Ha 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 ha! Um, yeah. So I'll talk to Shane. Hi, Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I know everything about you. <laughs> Journey of the Prairie King. I've almost completed Prairie King once. I just thought that was worth mentioning. I'm awfully proud of it myself, to be honest. Oh. Ah, we'll play a game. Hmm. 
My goodness, that was a cool item. is my uh, tech support. Squidly's tech support. Tech support Squidly. Um, if anything goes wrong with my computer or technology, uh, she knows what's going on. She knows how to fix it. That's just how it do be do. Anyway. Time to head to Bay of Fortnite. Oh, I didn't get to do my uh, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all your greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for a wild search for wild forge to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Thanks. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back at it again with another trip for tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you green Oh wait, I already read that. Forge tent teller. Ah, I sense the new villager has joined us. A young lady from Stardew Valley? Welcome, welcome. The spirits are all very displeased today. They'll make you- they Do the best to make your life difficult. Mm. That sounds awfully accurate. The stream delay and all that. Yes. Farming, foraging, fishing, mining, other. Fabulous! Yeah, so... I'll do this day, and then we'll see about that. Um... Anywho, weather report. Welcome to Cozy Five, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. Now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Fortune teller. Oh, I sense a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits, the spirits, the spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Yeah, thanks for all that, spirits. I have mail. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff. My backpack, the back backpack is full. Does it sound like you all, Pierre's, got you covered? Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Hello there. I just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. I know what you got for me, Willie, and I appreciate it. But I'm absolutely trash at fishing. So, I'm not exactly sure I'm the person you should be telling to come down my beach. So we'll figure out the screen delay and when we allocate more room, or when we do something for OBS, um, it'll open me up to be able to play more games because the games I've been choosing to play are very specific so that I can run without any problems. At least. So that's what we've been that's what I've been trying to do. I've been very careful with choosing my games. Because I have like a whole list of games. I post them on the Discord. Discord is still not ready for folks. I have to update rules and add bots and all that. Um but the Discord's where I post all the games I can play and then we go from there. I forgot how to use a web store, so embarrassing. It's like four to five months. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, I would most likely forget as well. Oh, when me and uh, Squid went to pick up our textbooks, the lady at the um, front desk, she's like, "Were you guys at Anime North?" I'm more like. Yeah, were well, you at Anime North? She's like, yeah, I thought I saw you guys. She went to Anime North. That's really interesting, so I was like, huh, I didn't see anyone I knew. 
and a lot of people were like, oh, are you from Toronto? When you go, because like when you go there, people assume you're from Toronto. It's like, ah, no, I'm not. I'm from this small town about two hours away. And they're like, oh. Uh, that's usually a big conversation. But yeah. So we'll do a little bit more cleaning up of the farm. I have to be back in the building again next week. Yeah. I'm feeling that too. It's probably one of the reasons my vibes are not as cozy and regular as normal. Alright, making this making this. open, but I don't think that's till day five. And I just simply don't know, thankfully not for Toronto. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have the energy to play till the mines open. So, we'll just, I'll just probably end it after this day. And I'll just, yeah, say my goodbyes and, and stream. Figure out what's going on with OBS. So there's something wrong with OBS. Just apparently, it, I just opened it today and it chose violence. So. Starting to feel exhausted. Oh yeah, but I need to cut this stump. There we go, I feel sluggish. Oh, I think that ends whatever the heck else I was gonna do today because I'm sluggish. And you can only um, change that in multiplayer as far as I know. So. We'll throw more wood in the trunk. And all our other stuff in the trunk. And then I'll have Alrighty. Yeah, go to sleep for the night. A little bit early, but that's alright. Progress has been saved. And it's raining. I love it when it rains. So then I can always fuck her off. Anyway. Okay, so move this back here. Pop up the this stream and exit to desktop. There we go. Alrighty, so thank you all for joining today. Sorry about the uh, low vibes and the um, OBS is always a sinker. It is! It's I'm still having issues with my stream information because I realized when I pressed um, I think when I joined it from my phone, it still said starting my own, owning my own like, what I call Oh, Pepper yawned. Uh, it still said what it said last week and that's not what I set at all. Anyway, so um, OBS is having issues. I'll fix the OBS issues by next stream. Maybe. If not, we'll be back to sticky business. Depending on my vibes. Anyway, so uh, thank you all for, thank you all for uh, joining me today. I'll see you guys in the next, I'll see you guys in my next stream. Uh, thanks for joining. Make sure to check out. I got a Twitter now. Okay, I got a Twitter. Um, let me get the Twitter name. Okay, so let's see here. So, I have five notifications on Twitter. There we go, okay. So, it's spelt exactly like my Twitch. I'll put it in chat. So, it's going to be... It's it's at uh, Mothical Moo. But it's... um. What an ping some random individual. I don't think it did. So at Mothical Moo, the at to, both of the M's are capitals. It's all shoved together. That's my uh Twitter. I have there we go. Thank you, Squid. Um I have a Twitter. Maybe, maybe by next stream the Discord might be up and ready and running and stuff. Um 
I still have a lot more work to do stream-wise, but anyway, go follow my Twitter. I also have a YouTube under Mothkamu, but my YouTube is currently just being used for uploading the raw footage from Twitch. Thank you, Squidly. If I could pin that, I would. Um, anyway, so I... There's my Twitter. Go drop it a follow if you'd like. Oh! Squidly Diddly just followed. Weren't you following before? I mean, thank you. Thank you for the follow, but I thought you were already following me. Um, I was following. It just unfollowed you? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and it made you unfollow. Oh my goodness, no. Well, thank you for the, uh, re- follow i suppose or anyway okay so go ahead and visit my twitter uh, that'll be uh twitter.com i refuse to call it x so we're going on twitter go ahead and follow my twitter it's mothical moo all shoved together the both of the m's are capitals i have a youtube channel where i upload all my raw twitch content and i assume i'll be doing edited uh, videos once i get an editing software and feel the dedication to do that because currently this is still just a casual thing um uh anyway so if you want to catch my vods after they've been deleted on twitch because twitch deletes them after a week um feel free to go over and to my youtube channel by the same name if you just go up to the top and type in at mothical moo in the URL bar, you will find it easy peasy. You could probably also look up Mothical Moo, but it's a little bit harder to search on there. So feel free to go drop there. I'm pretty sure this is all in my bio as well. If not, good luck. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for uh, joining me today. And uh, yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>